So I'm going to talk to you about this, the glass change in temperature and co uh, polymer crystal, which is a section four. And then this uh, first segment of uh, this uh, lecture will be mainly about um, particularly what is called the glass range in temperature. You might heard about the melting transition, melting, which is commonly observed in, in many of the system, but as a part of the polymer, understanding of glass transition is very important, and understanding as a part of the thermodynamic transition, and how first uh, the melting transition understood as a first order transition, and then, and then uh, glass transition temperature is understood as a second order transition, thermodynamic transition. And we're going to talk to you about this. The important meaning here, I give you, this page shows overall like a snapshot about everything that I want to cover. And the most important plot is probably this one. And as you can see, temperature versus the volume. Okay, this is a specific volume. So but you can just think about it as a volume versus per unit mass versus a temperature. And depending on whether polymers uh, uh, the, um, uh, undergoes a melting or a glass transition temperature, this, is, this behavior is more like a melting. And this temperature, this, this curve is more behave like a TG. And this graph is a little bit more uh, kind of complicated, so uh, I would give you a more simpler version of that. And also understanding the uh, meaning of the uh, glass transition temperature as a function of molecular weight, and also when you use the copolymer, changing the copolymer composition, how you're going to change the uh, how the copolymer Tg, glass transition temperature, depends on the composition. And also use a chance to uh, explain the fundamental principle of the differential scanning calorimetry, and that's the one, uh, particularly here is the one showing the TG here. So first thing is I wanted to talk about the uh, amorphous polymer and the glass range and temperature. So what is amorphous polymer? Polymer does exist as uh, this kind of chain, and as you probably remember, uh, the mo many chains are heavily uh, interact with each other. So I here just give you an example of drawing the four, three chains. Maybe I can draw one more, four chains. So these are the polymer chains, okay? So they can, they can entangle, uh, they, can, uh, they can have an interaction, but at the same time, it's a very long chain molecule, but they do not have any kinds of uh, more, uh, the regular packing of the chain. And when there's a regular packing of the chain, then you will see the melting transition of the sample. But there are class of polymer that do not show any kinds of melting transition. The uh, famous example is uh, polystyrene, and which is a fully amorphous uh, polymer when it's an atactic polystyrene. And also, you can think about uh, polyvinyl chloride, PVC, is also uh, atactic uh, polymers. <laughs> so these are the polymers that has a glass range and temperature about 100 degrees C, and the polyvinyl chloride is above about 80 degrees C. And they all have a, a similar, uh, they have a uh, polymer that looks clear. And so the most of uh, well-known polymer is a polystyrene, so let me start to stick to this. You can see that uh, it is a typically clear polymers, and the temperature um, below Tg, we call it glassy. At the temperature above Tg, it will be rubbery. We call it soft. Okay, so it can, it can be processed and so on. And if you have a enough entanglement, this clear amorphous polymer can be useful for us to use in many uh, applications. Here's a, actually, I'm trying to uh, use uh, resources in the textbook, chapter 16 of this Young and Lovell textbook. And then they actually has a nice summary about vinyl polymer. 
And when you see the vinyl polymer, it has a chemical structure of CH, 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 2 CH with an X, which is a side groups. Okay, this, this is a side groups. And then when you have a, the X is CH3 and the TG is minus 23 degrees C, that's a, what we call the polypropylene, right? And also when, when this one gets longer, with and this one gets longer this is a sort of the now you can start to uh, develop some visual understanding uh, the the TG goes down so the molecular chemical structures uh, of the side group can give you insight of this uh, when you have this one even CH2 CH with branch to chain N if we find out this one is 30 degrees C. So uh, that's uh, the longer the aliphatic chain it is, uh, the, the lower the, the glass transition temperature is going to be. And the chains likes to be, have an extended regions of uh, flexible rubbery chains. So another concept that you might want to compare is when you have something looks like this bulky uh, aromatic group, and that's a that's a TG is 100 degrees C, so you can certainly relate that into something as a uh, bulky side group, uh, make the chain more uh, to be glassy and uh, rigid, up to a more up to a higher temperature temperatures, and then this one is a uh, PVC. And this is a PVOH, polyvinyl alcohol. This is a polyacrylonitrile, PAN. And they have a pretty high TGs, and these are the all having a good uh, polar bonding, uh, such as this. But there is no like a golden rule that you, you can almost have a, a prediction on what's the TG of this or any uh, polymer should be, and then that's the still. Uh, you have to really go and uh, look at the measure the uh, temperature of glass transition using thermal analysis technique if you have made a new polymers. <laughs> uh, figure 16.1, actually this author is uh, uh, pretty big on the x-ray scattering. And then if you uh, shine the x-ray, this is a, what we call the amorphous halo. So amorphous halo is a polymer, uh, when you have a polymer, do not have any structure, but still the x-ray scatter, uh, based, on, based on the average distance between the chain and in the, uh, in the as a uh, basic distance. So this is an amorphous halo pattern. pattern. Okay, actually, the, I was checking the... Uh, Amorphous halo patterns, and the amorphous halo is a uh, give you some uh, some idea about average distance. So this is a uh, um, quite in a way broad, uh, as distinct from the usual uh, wide angles B L O A D broad peak from the amorphous, and uh, this is a. Uh, um, Quite broad compared to the crystalline polymers, which have a much more regular rays, and the peaks are a lot sharper, and there are many multiple peaks corresponding to that. Okay. So, okay, so I will give a, uh, a start the example, and then uh, in the next step, I'm going to talk to you about the um, polymers uh, volume change as a function of uh, temperature. So. Still, it's a good idea to for you to think about. There is a certain characteristic temperature called glass transition temperature, and below which uh, polymers are glassy. Above which we call the rubbery. Okay, this is temperature. So, and that's uh, just a physical property. Uh, one of the map, and also one thing to note is always a. Uh, TG is lower than TM. So if you polymers can have any, uh, the polymer can have both TG and the TM for uh, 
uh, semi-crystalline polymer. Because most polymer can, although they can have formed a crystalline domain, 100% crystallinity is not uh, not feasible in most of the cases. So there, therefore, there are regions of they can form amorphous. There's a region of polymer chain or domains that form the crystalline domain. So uh, Tg is from the amorphous domain, and this is from the crystalline domain. 